Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, I'll be giving you everything you need to know about Calcharo. Calcharo is a 5-star electro character who uses the broadblade type weapon. The best part about him is that he's able to do quick swap without any drawbacks and his rotations have one of the highest damage outputs. He loses to Jian at single target damage by 4% without any quick swap and will go higher with quick swapping plus with Yinlin, Calcharo will beat Jian's DPS easily. However, He's very hard to master due to his combos and animation cancel which is not for everyone. Skill priority make sure to not upgrade his skill, intro skill and basic attack. The reason is that when using Resonance Liberation, Calcharo gains a new basic attack model. The multiplier for this attack is based on his Resonance Liberation level. And the main proportion of his damage comes from Forte Circuit. Hence, you only want to upgrade those two as the rest barely have any DPS increase. Resonance Chain isn't worth exchanging. As the DPS boost isn't game-changing and is only nice to have if you fail your 50-50. Echo Priority in Sets. Prioritize Tempest Mephis over Thundering Mephis. They both have the same amount of buffs. But Thundering has a way longer action time, making it inferior to Tempest Mephis which will result in a rough 10% DPS loss. Running double 4 cost is very decent for the early game as it's very easy to farm since you don't want to farm echoes till your union level is at 40 with a level 20 data bank. As you can just stack up 2 crit rate main stats, and with 2 rolls on crit rate, you will hit that 70% crit rate breakpoint easily. If you're running mixed sets you want these echo instead. Echo stats. 4 cost with crit rate or crit damage depending on which you need, both double 3 cost echoes with both electro damage but your second 3 cost can be attack percent as the DPS loss is minimal. Where the one with better substats will come out on top and lastly, one cost with attack percent. For substats, aim for a total of 60-70% to crit rate, 10-20% to energy. 30-40% to energy is only for those who can only hit 2 death messenger instead of 3. As much crit damage as possible. After that, attack percent. The rest have lesser value. DPS calculations. Players should take note that 5-piece lingering tunes at 101.5% is only when you have Cal doing his full rotation. Which means if Cal gets switched out during his burst window it will be at 95% DPS instead which the number you want to look at. Running mixed sets are honestly fine for Calcharo as there is no more than an 8% DPS loss. Weapon DPS calculation Razor gives 12.8% energy region which saves you on ER substats. Jian's weapon is tied but not worth pulling for Cal but it can perform slightly better than Razor if you have 70% crit rate. Autumn Trace S5 is honestly tied at first place too and has an insane amount of attack percent buff but it's from the battle pass. Helios DPS output isn't that high even with S5 due to the low attack buff multipliers. But if you have it, just slap it on since it's still better than his other options. Broadblade isn't worth it, even at S5 and it's a little risky. Guardian and Knight are both pretty decent since it's free and the DPS isn't that far off. But of course, if you're a Cal main, you want Razor for sure. With one rotation, you would be dealing 389k DPS, but with Broadblade of Knight, you would be dealing 279k DPS instead but individual player skill matters more. Best Team Sub DPS Yinlin is the best and a must pull for Cal, as you could just use Yinlin's skill and swap back to Cal instantly. His second best sub DPS is Jianxin, no cap. She's able to provide a 38% liberation damage buff, which is Cal's main damage source which makes up to 53.6% of his damage output. Not only that, she provides crazy shields, self-healing. Plus, she's able to group up trash mobs easily, which makes up for one of Cal's flaws. But make sure to focus on maximizing her concerto and keep her field time low to ensure Cal has enough time to complete his full rotations. Sanwa is a little weaker as her basic attack buff only buffs Cal's kit by 28% compared to Jianxin. But Sanwa is still insane and the best unit for quick swap. Which brings up intro way faster. Only downside is that is that she's way harder to use. Another two sub DPS unit are way weaker which are both Yang Yang for the energy and grouping of trash mobs. Mortefi is usable for hyper quick swap playstyle but falls short compared to Sanwa. Won't go too much into it as it's pretty hard to pull off. For healers nothing much to talk about. I will only be talking about Calcharo's rotation as there's just too much to cover. Outside of Calcharo's ulti, for a fast burst rotation you just want to use his skill 3 times in a row into his heavy attack. 
For longer rotations or ulti setup, you want to basic into skill, basic into skill again and basic two times into skill and charged basic into swap cancel. You can use your sub DPS skill, ulti and echo and swap back to Calcharo. Pretty simple. Now for his standard ulti rotation it's still the same just that you don't want to use his skill at all. I'll just start from his ultimate, into your free heavy attack into swap cancel. 5 basic attacks into swap cancel, and repeat it one more time and switch cancel it whenever you can for extra DPS. With Yinlin in future you should get comfortable with it but fear not as it's not a must to quick swap for all 3 heavy attacks. For his advanced rotation, instead of 5 basic attacks, you want to do 3 basic attacks into skill, to cancel your basic attack animation, into 2 more basic attacks and do a heavy attack, and swap cancel for higher DPS output. Which is insanely hard to pull off, this isn't a must as the DPS gain is only 8%. Where hitting 3 death messenger attack is better as with 2 death messenger your DPS will drop by 29%. Pros, low key double S tier, good design, best unit at quick swapping. One of the fastest outros for a DPS unit. Rewards players who are good at the game. DPS on par with Jian. Will beat all current units with Yinlin. Cons, you do not want to play him your phone. Not ideal for exploration and tiring to play. Hardest unit to master. His DPS falls off significantly if you make mistakes. In short, his only con is that he's very hard to use. Should you get Calcharo? Usually, I would say yes. But he's one of the hardest units to master as you will be clicking or pressing buttons without any breaks at all. Where Kame pred to Jian you can just use his ulti hold down the basic attack button for similar performance. Overall, if you like his design, just get him. As liking a unit design is way more important and it's not like you have just one day to master him. Thanks for watching till the end. Let me know your thoughts about him, and that's it for this guide.